Hashtag time matters is so important when we address pancreatic cancer because time really does matter. The earlier we make the diagnosis, the more treatment options we have and ultimately survival. The symptoms sometimes are very nondescript. Everyone is aware that when you develop painless jaundice, in other words, yellow in the eyes, yellow in the skin, the waterworks being dark, the bile motions being pale, that that is a sinister symptom. And many, many people are aware to seek urgent medical help. But there are other symptoms that may not be as known. The upper back pain, the diabetes that comes in later life that you weren't expecting, or indeed recurring bouts of upper abdominal pain not settled by simple antacid medications. Research continues all of the time and that's because there's been very little improvement in survival over the last 40 years. We are seeing a rise in pancreatic cancer but we're not seeing the significant survival that we need. Research into chemotherapy is very, very important at the minute. And we know for borderline and unresectable pancreatic cancer that the role of chemotherapy is very effective up front. In other words, that person who may get an operation, but the tumor is very close to vessels, they get chemotherapy and that causes the tumor to shrink away, allowing surgeons like myself to take out the tumour. And that work continues. And it may be that in the fullness of time, every person, even those with resectable cancer at the time of presentation, that all of those people will have chemotherapy first before surgery. The work from Liverpool and throughout the world on SPAC clearly demonstrated the role of chemotherapy after surgery. And that continues. What is the ideal chemotherapy to give to someone after they have had their pancreatic cancer removed? Other areas of interest, including our own work here in Northern Ireland, look at drug delivery systems. How can we get treatment to the tumour? Pancreatic cancers are not very vascular and the centre of the tumours tends to not have much in the way of oxygen. Sonodynamic therapy with microbubbles, which has been pioneered here in Ulster University, aims to administer chemotherapy into the heart of the tumour itself. And with the reactivation of those bubbles comes another mechanism of trying to kill the tumour. Not just the chemotherapy, but also a free radical response to try and cause damage to the tumour itself. And I'm delighted to say we are about to enter clinical trials on sonodynamic therapy uh, in the coming months. As well as that, we have got to move with the times of research, and that is including artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence around the imaging modalities that are used in the diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. Artificial intelligence into the lists of symptoms equating to the actual presentation of pancreatic cancer and so many other aspects of care. As well in Northern Ireland, Queen's University are leading the way in audit projects looking at where pancreatic cancer is distributed. Are there familial links? In other words, are there patient populations that come from generations of a family with abnormalities that cause this very pancreatic cancer? And there's not a week goes by that we are seeing research coming from all over the world. We look to our Dutch colleagues for many of the works that they've done looking at the best operative interventions to deal with pancreatic cancer, whether it be in the head, the body or the tail. Screening is ultimately of the most importance and at the minute we don't have the screening tool that will help us pick up early pancreatic cancer and that is one of the areas that constant work is looking at whether it be the measurement of urine whether it be the measurement of biomarkers in the blood whatever it may be we have got to find an early diagnosis screening tool that will help firstly in those that are at risk the familial 
pancreatic cancer group or those who have um, congenital depletions which can be associated with pancreatic cancer but ultimately the entire population over a certain age we're not there yet it will take time to get there but clearly screening will be beneficial too so in summary work continues groups like NIPANC helping fund the research is critical as we look to find better screening tools as we look at the best combination of chemotherapy and surgery and that we use modern technology to help us with early diagnosis, treatment, prognosis and future developments. Thank you.